what's happening YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So this might be the last trip that I do in the camper van and I might be selling the camper van and living back in a property. Probably going to move back in with my family. Um, yeah, so the reason being, like I said, I've been living full time in a van now for a good couple of years, about three years. And um, yeah, literally just, so at, at the moment, I'm just basically going around the coast, like going down this, going down all the way, basically all the way around the south of England. Uh, so I'm currently in Little Hampton. I'm going to keep making my way down to Portsmouth and then past Portsmouth, Dorset, Devon, and hopefully get all the way down to Cornwall, hopefully. Um, I was looking to go to the Isle of Wight, but it's about £120. Uh, it's to get on a ferry to go there. So, yeah, I'm not paying that. I can't really afford that. Um, so the Isle of Wight has to be a miss. And basically, um, just when I'm driving the van, I'm just having, like, it's just the same old bullshit, you know. Like, you can't park anywhere. There's just no parking anywhere for camper vans. It's, it's they're making it harder and harder every single year to park up. They really are. Like, it's, it's getting hard, like, you know. Um, yeah, so obviously it's just put me, it's put me off a little bit traveling anymore, you know, it's just like, what is the point? You know, you want to travel to see everything and like the bits you want to go to, you just can't park anywhere. The car parks are either full up, um, there's like height restrictions, um, there's big signs saying like you can't stay there the night, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, so that is very, uh, frustrating. Um, but yeah, obviously now it's approaching winter. It is going to be harder now to live in the van full time. Um, yeah, so that is something to think about. Um, but yeah, the thing is, if I move back in home, um, yeah, obviously I'm going to sell the van because I can't afford both. You know, I can't afford to live in a home and to have the camper van. So I'm probably going to have to sell the van. Um, but yeah, that's it really. That's just an update of my life anyway. Um, but yeah, if you think, if you're into van life or you want any tips, or any advice do's and don'ts please let me know like i said i've been doing it full time now for three years so i am i am pretty experienced obviously i do love van life don't get me wrong um it's great to travel and stuff like that um but it does it does have its drawbacks you know for example the main drawback for me is this is being able to park somewhere permanently if i could park somewhere permanently um and you know be left alone then maybe i would still live in the van but it's difficult you can't live you can't park anywhere um, without someone bothering you or moaning, you know, and you can't buy land because most land for sale is for agricultural purposes, so they won't let you pitch a caravan on there, for example, or a motorhome because you have to go through all the, the planning permission, and yeah, it's not it's not simple. I have looked into that avenue, so, um, but yeah, but it's the main rant really. It's just about the parking, like like I said, um, there's literally like no parking. For uh, camper vans or motorhomes, it's very diff it's to make it very difficult. Basically, very difficult. You know, there's always height restrictions everywhere you go. Like the best park ups, like oh yeah, they're great height restrictions, and then other good park ups. You park there, and then about midnight, you get these like boy races turn up. It's just like oh my god, it's just like no peace and quiet. You know, it's very difficult. But anyway, but like I said, this is probably be my last trip, unfortunately, before I sell up because I need to really get back into a home eventually. But yeah, like and subscribe. Peace.